strings, we already know the scale. The blues scale in A. And we know that it goes with this bar chord, and we've we'll reviewed a little bit of the bar chord just so you know the first finger is, like as you observed astutely, is taking the place of the nut here, which is actually moving it up and playing that first finger across all the strings, the thumb will be in the center of the back of the neck right behind it, like that, and then you will drop the other fingers in place, this will be on the G string, those will be on the D and A string to give you an A chord, so it's always important to recognize your chord shapes going with your uh, scales. Whoops. So uh, one thing you can do out of the scale form are some things like bends. So if we put our bends, in, or, as I mentioned earlier, are generally done with the third finger leading uh, with the second and first finger on separate frets behind it, supporting the push up towards the ceiling. And that bend was where you would have gone naturally to this note, but doing it as a bend. The other target you can go to as your fingers get stronger is the ninth fret note, which is the same note in the scale as this is, but going like, that's a whole step in, that takes a little bit of time, but just keep working at it. Half step sounds good too for now. The other bend place that's very common in, in blues and rock and roll and other stuff is from this note in the scale, normally would walk up like that, you get these guys in place and you push up. This is harder to do. To, to 10 is your target, so you're going to try to really get that. doesn't quite sound as good on this one if you do a half step, so okay. you have to work that one up. Uh, the two other elements, hammer-ons and pull-offs, if you do the scale, instead of picking all the notes, if you just play one note on each string with a pick, hammer down with the pinky on the D low string. This one you do a double hammer on because you have three notes on the string. And same. One hammer on, then the next one will be three notes, so double hammer on. And then double notes. And then that, so you'll have... And that's very, you know, it comes in when you start playing licks and whatnot. Hammer on, hammer on, on, double hammer on, you know, all over the place. And the other one is pull-offs, which I would start from the high strings and going down, which is instead of picking, you're going to pick once on each string, do a single hammer, a single pull-off rather. Same on the next. And as you observe, uh, not directly away. See yeah, how the volume goes away? We have to pull diagonally towards the floor to get the volume to pop out. Like that. And then the same, this one's got a double pull. That takes a little more control, but it's good. And a lot of licks have these pull offs. Pull off, pull. This one's a single pull. This is a double pull and then a single pull. So if you combine them, you're going to get a lot of different cool effects. That's what it was, a hammer-ons into a pull-off. Hammer, 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 pull. You can do hammer-pull combinations. You know. That's a hammer-on walk-up with a pull-off walk-down. Steady hammer on pull off, but quickly done. Okay. And that's that. That's cool. Yeah.